Okay, so this is activity two, um, explaining a problem and how we're going to go about desensitizing uh, cinch to the problem. Uh, I'll start by saying that this is a little vacuum cleaner. It's not a horse vacuum cleaner, it's just a vacuum cleaner. I've never vacuumed any horse before. I have seen that they sell specific equipment specifically designed to vacuum horses, um, but they cost like $1,000. So I'm not doing that. This is like a $100 vacuum cleaner. And for a very long time, I thought, wouldn't that be great to be able to vacuum my horses? But I never had the guts or knew how I would even go about uh, trying such a thing. So um, luckily, I have uh, my trainer, Jane Stone, here to, to help me work through this. But this is the vacuum cleaner. He's never heard it or seen it before. Um, and so we're going to have to decide which method we're going to use to get him used to being vacuumed. So. Uh, our choices are gradual desensitization, overshadowing, counter conditioning, flooding, approach conditioning, or stimulus blending. So I think um, what I'd like to do is uh, start taking off the ones that I don't think would be particularly appropriate. So I'm going to discount flooding right away. I'm not a fan of the idea of flooding because there's too many opportunities for that to go wrong. For instance, I wouldn't take this up to him right now, turn it on, and start vacuuming him and ask Jane to hold on to him and just make him stand there and put up with it. I think that has too much room for him panicking, having a really bad experience, and turning him off of the, the experience for the rest of his life. So I'm going to say we're not doing flooding. Uh, another one that I don't think is particularly appropriate for this particular instance would be stimulus blending because we would need to have a stimulus that he's already accustomed to that we could blend this stimulus with. And we don't have such a stimulus. We don't have, to, to my knowledge, any piece of equipment that's, that would make as much noise as this vacuum cleaner or that would give him that sucking sensation like this vacuum cleaner. So we don't really have something that he's already habituated to that we could blend this stimulus with. So that's uh, the second one I would discount. We're not going to do flooding and we're not going to do stimulus blending. Another one that we might uh, consider is approach conditioning, um, which would be where he's allowed to approach it at, under his own steam and then the, uh, the stimulus would back away a little bit as he approached and give him the idea that he's like moving the stimulus, which would make him, he could get closer and closer as he felt more and more confident that, well, this isn't scary because it moves away from me, so I'm controlling it. So that's a kind of a possibility, but we're going to consider all of them before we decide on which approach. So approach conditioning is possibility. Um, counter conditioning would be where we pair this with something really pleasant and the, the idea being that therefore he would, he would like the, the fact that he was rewarded when this vacuum cleaner was around. But to me that sounds a little bit difficult because um, it would have to be so time consuming to do so and he would have to be really highly rewarded by whatever the, um, the counter conditioning was. And I don't treat him at all, so it can't be treats because we're not treating. And he gets plenty of food, so food, I would have to starve him for a few days to be food, for food to be the motivator. So I don't think we're going to do counter conditioning. So gradual desensitization is one that I'm not going to choose because that would mean putting it somewhere that he would be able to approach it or not on, under his own volition and to do so over time. So, for instance, I might have it plugged in in his paddock day in and day out and maybe two or three weeks from now he would have gotten curious enough and approached it enough times that now he's comfortable coming right up to it and chewing on the hose. But that's way too time consuming and we would like to be able to vacuum him today. So we are going to opt for overshadowing which will uh, allow him to get used to this coming closer and closer to him because he'll be preoccupied with some stimulus he already knows. We're going to use the um, stop and go and he'll be preoccupied with his brain responding to stimulus that he already knows and understands and we can approach very gradually with this and when his stop and go becomes much more relaxed and automatic we'll know that he's okay with it at that distance. So let's say we start at 20 feet, he's uptight, we just do the forward and back, 
forward and back, or stop and go, stop and go, for however many times it takes until we feel him doing it totally automatic and he's very relaxed, at which point we can uh, increase the, the proximity to him of the vacuum cleaner. So this could go, you know, it could end up taking us 30 minutes to get it right up on him, or two hours, it, it doesn't matter. It's still much, much faster than gradual desensitization over weeks. So with that said, um, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and start uh, working on trying overshadowing with Cinch and the vacuum cleaner. So checking your responses as we do I'm this. Checking, checking his responses as it's getting closer. He's getting a little stickier. He's getting lighter again. Don't, don't forget you can use the tap on the side if it doesn't come forward right away. I did forget that. He's very light now. Give him a chance to smell it, see it up close. Trying a little approach conditioning. Nostril flare. <laughs> Stop it. Licking his lips again so he's not too upset. to touch the, the brushy yeah. to his fur. Around this side. Okay. If he, yeah, a little baby, a little forward and back. with overshadowing and see if we can get the vacuum a little closer and closer until he allows us to uh, put the brush on his fur while it's on. I'm not going to speak anymore though, it's going to be loud.
And you can be in position one, I think, might be better. 